folks, we are back for the next Let's Play for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're to Jello and Tally Alert Level Zero. They're both asleep in bed. We are in a seize of fate. You there! A, what are you I doing? If you wish to have words, come soon, closer. So. Dude, don't make me kill you because I will fucking smack a bitch. And you're my bitch. Alright, before we do anything, soon we'll Show be leaving. Show me what lies ahead. Gunner. If we find Gunner. Because I want to get my stuff upgraded before we go do this. So let's go do that. Let's run over there. And let's also go to the shop. Pick up anything we might need. Hi. I have those if you want them. Smart. All right. We need these. more supplies. I will take them. Thank you for selling to me. Nothing more? I have to go. <coughs> See you soon. All right, we are done. We bought the stuff. We're gonna get out, oh, and I'm gonna run into walls. That's what I do. Oh my God, I can't walk today. Help! All right, we're off to Gunner. I'm trying to catch myself on fire, evidently. <laughs> evidently, that's the next best thing in life. Hey, Gunner. My close, close. Friend. How can I help? All right, we need to do some upgrading. We're gonna upgrade my normal armor, I think. So the hunter bow, I think we're gonna just upgrade our hunter bow because oh, it costs three ingots to upgrade it. Eh, eh. Let's go to gear. Well, it only costs one to do the armor. We're gonna do three pieces of armor. Or my sheep. We're gonna do the three pieces of armor. One. Fantastic. You know what? I like my armor. I like my Do you people. need I'm anything to celebrate else? my people by just focusing on the Raven Clan. No, no, I need more. Yes, I need let me see one more. Oh my god, she let me select multiple. Do you right. need anything else? We're done, my friend. I will free you from this bond. No, that's the And I will be ready when you need me. All right, let's go to inventory and do the upgrades for all our equipment that we can. So, upgrade, upgrade. Uh, Varen's axe. I should have, oh, I need, I need the other kind of ingots, which I think I have to wait till after this, so. Upgrade, 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 and shield. Can't upgrade it yet. So, I don't know what I did with my father's helmet. I think I accidentally sold it. I found it in a world ending event, and then I don't have it anymore when I sold the trinkets. It was probably just a trinket. It probably wasn't useful as a to wear. Um, is there anything else? Let's see. Codex, what do we got to learn? Is there nothing in database? Oh, it's all tutorials now. What the hell? Let us clear out the tutorials. I don't need it to keep telling me. All right, we are on the seas of fate. Now, <laughs> let us... Ooh, I'm going to play a little bit of Orlog before we leave because I have not cleared out the Orlog here. I may cut that out. That, that very well could be cut out. You guys don't need to see me play the... a lesser version of Gwent. Good game. The gods favored your hand today. Shall we go again? Another time, perhaps. Nope. Nope, we're good. I wasted way too much time doing Orlog. However, I got it completed for this town, which is awesome. All right, let's continue on. It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Hey, Albus. No flighting, huh? Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today, we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. 
Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Chadvis riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. I would have if to you agree object, with you. object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Alrighty, woo! <clears throat> How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Alrighty, we're kicking ass, taking aims, let's go do this. Eivor, hey, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let it's us take time to the go. water and leave Let's unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga, in England. Nonsense! Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, lord. No. 
You must be his better half. May Agiv bless your voyage. All right, we're going to get out of here. Woo, let's go, folks. Don't worry, we can come back. Um, you can travel between Norway and England. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar Sigurd. established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! Dag, I'd prefer England. Woo! End of the prologue, folks. Um. I think we're gonna jump out of the Animus real quick. I hate, I really hate the non-Animus, I hate the Animus part of this game. I actually found I don't like that part of the story. Just let me, let me see the stories from the Animus. I'm good with not dealing with the modern world. So much better with it. In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Alrighty, let's do this. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Right, what else do we got going? We don't have Assassin's Vision. Um, I'm just gonna talk to the people here and then head back in. We'll deal with the Animus later. I'm, this is just not my favorite story at all, actually. Did you get my tea? Oh, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. 
The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. I am sure one of the reasons they have the outside story is so you could call it a franchise and have everybody playing. But I think you could still call it a franchise by just having all the stories dealing with the assassins and the um, the the Templars or whatever. I can't ever order the ancients. I guess feeling what they okay call it now. Better, <clears throat> but I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Oh my god, you're just bitchy to me, too. Like, I... This is too combative. I don't... I don't like the modern storyline. No one cares. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect, so the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of... Why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years. Then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. I guess I don't understand it. She never asked to remove it. She never made excuses for herself and they both jumped the weird conclusions. So I think what I'm gonna do is I do think it's an important part of the story since it's a part of the game. I will eventually come back in here. I know there's a lot of records and stuff Let's to look at. Look. Like if you go to use laptop, I know that there's um, like files and stuff to look through. I will do that in its own LP kind of like a grind but i'll put it on the regular lp channel not just the unedited that way if you want to watch it you can if you don't want to watch it we'll just keep to the um we'll just keep to ivor's story because i don't particularly care about the storyline but i will go through it because that's just part of doing an lp all right back out let's go home all right time to go Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, come in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. 
I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, this is gonna put me back in the game, but into the new mission already with some cutscenes, I believe. So we're gonna wrap it up here, folks. I'll see you later until... <laughs>